Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we got a series of 1v1 and finishing exercises here today. But before we even get into the video, just want to introduce myself. All right, so my name is Francesco and as a former NCAA Division I and full-time footballer, my mission is to provide you with the resources you need to take your game to the next level and enjoy the game. Okay, so now that we get into the session, we're going to go, first we're going to go through some mobility work as you can see here. So getting the hips, knees, and ankles working through a series of range of motions. From our mobility work, we're then going to work into our speed speed and agility. So we're going to work into some shuffling to start, just establishing some good movement patterns here in the shuffling position, staying low, pushing the ground away, working nice and explosively as well as quickly, right? So here we're starting in a standstill position. We're quickly changing direction on the shuffle back to the beginning and then again, resetting in that nice low athletic stance. From this exercise, we're now going to work into a series of change of directions. So now we're going to sprint forward. We're then going to turn our body and shuffle back to the initial cone and then sprint sprinting forward into then a nice parallel stanced deceleration position. Okay, so again, establishing good movement patterns, staying nice and low, especially when we're changing direction, exploding into every single movement, just as you would have to do in the match. All right, and then from this exercise, we're now gonna to transition to a more agility-based exercise here in a second, so where you're having to react to a color that is called. So you're gonna sprint through towards the dummy as if you're closing them down. Then you're gonna shuffle to the colored cone that your partner behind you calls. Then you're gonna sprint through. So again, I'm driving through here. I'm shuffling back nice and aggressively, keeping my eyes forward, and then sprinting through, getting a nice explosive movement through the cone. From there, we're gonna work into our final one where we're just closing down, shuffling to the color cone we're gonna sprint back and close down the dummy a second time before our, our partner calls a second color and then we're having to react to that again bait back to that colored cone and then sprinting through and now we're on the ball okay so we got now the three cone triangle game which is one of my favorite exercises to start off with in a 1v1 day all right so basically the triangle set up each cone is about two feet away from the other all right and there's three sides so there's three gates and basically you can't play the ball back through the same gate that you received it from right so here you got to receive the ball you're gonna take one touch to get around one of the cones around the triangle either left to the right and you have to play the ball back to your partner through a different gate that you received it from and this is again one of my favorite exercises all right just creates a little bit of competition to start off the day gets you moving get your feet moving you have to anticipate where the first touch might go, where the pass might go. All right, you just have to adjust and stay nice and light on the toes, just like during a regular 1v1. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. The pain I felt is paid for, all is said and done. And now we're gonna work into our second 1v1 exercise of the day. So there are three gates set up, all right? And the defender's gonna start right in the middle with the ball of the middle gate. The idea is the defender's gonna play a nice firm pass into the attacker's feet. And from there, the attacker has to try and take their touch and do a little 1v1 or a first touch right out of their feet to create space and dribble through one of the gates, either the one on the right, down the middle, or to the left, okay? So this has a defender, encourages closing down, good body position, staying light on the feet, trying to anticipate where that first touch might go and then as an attacker obviously you have to control the ball think about what you're going to do before you even receive the ball and then try and adjust and do a nice quick explosive move around your defender to then take the ball through the gate oh, Jacks! <laughs> All 
All right, now we're going to work into our third and final 1v1 exercise. So the defender is going to start on the far side with the ball, and they're going to play a firm pass right down the middle through the gates that you can see here. All right, as the ball is played, the defender is going to call either blue or red, and the attacker has to take a first touch around that cone while the defender runs around the pole on the far end of the same color. Okay, so again, that first touch is right out of our feet as the attacker. We're going to attack with some speed, and we're going to try and get the ball with the dribble past the poles to then finish into the mini goal on the far side there's also a mini goal which you can't really see here you can see that i'm just trying to play in there that the defender if they win the ball they're immediately looking to find an outlet pass into that mini goal again as an attacker you want to work with speed you want to get that first touch out of your feet you want to go as explosively as you can while shifting the body side to side again you want to think about what you're maybe going to do even before you receive the ball have an idea and then from there you want to work as efficiently and as quickly as you can Now we're into our final exercise, which is our finishing exercise. So there's a player on the very end who's serving and they're serving the ball diagonally across the pitch, either on the ground or in the air. The shooter has to take one touch out of their feet and they have to strike either into the left side of the goal or the right side of the goal based on the server's call. So again, the server's calling right or left, player who's shooting takes one touch out of their feet and as quickly and efficiently as they can, taking that strike on the side of the goal that was dictated by the server. <laughs> 